Hey lovies, it's your girl Jojo and welcome back to day 38. Oh my gosh, we are almost at 40 days, 40 days strong of 100 days of gratitude. So today is my 11th year lockiversary. And for those of you who don't know what a lockiversary means, it means it was the day 11 years ago that I got locks. And I know that might not sound like a big deal to a lot of people, but let me tell you why I'm grateful. Because before locks, Black women and hair is like a thing, right? It's like a real thing. And there's so much self-hate, low self-esteem. There's just so much stuff tied into hair. So growing up as a kid, I always felt like super insecure if I didn't have like braids um, or something that like extended the length of my hair. My hair was just like super duper short. Uh, I remember used, in the sixth grade, I used to get called body locks and I was just traumatized. And so I always wanted to hide my hair. Go oh, Gabby, get out my video. <laughs> Sorry y'all. So I always wanted to- Can I show him my buns at least? If you want to show him your buns, come on. Hello people. You can't even see, there you go. There's your <laughs> bun. All right. So I always felt traumatized um, because I got bullied so badly because my hair was short, S stupid. But it just formed this like insecurity from the age of 11. And so I would cry every time, like my mom would put braids in sometimes. Every time I took them out, I would cry. Um, and then that turned into when I got older, I was just always putting some kind of weave extension in my hair, pretending like it was my hair. Um, even to the point where when I was like, probably in my twenties, I used to get this, I don't know, this really curly brand of um, like weave. But because I'm like super light skinned and uh, the hair, my hair naturally is like a curlier texture. I used to always get like, oh, what are you mixed with? Oh, what are you like? It Always, always. So then it started to make me feel like, well, do you not like me because I'm black? Like, why do I need to be mixed with something? Like if I didn't have, if my hair didn't look like it was mine growing out of my skin, it didn't, out, out of my skin, out of my scalp. And it didn't look like, you know, it was all like, curly mixed girl hair would you still talk to me so it just that was another complex right um and it just got to the point where I used to just start lying like yeah this is my hair <laughs> lying okay okay so um and I'll post pictures I'll post pictures in the comment of what I'm talking about like hair wise like how but yeah man and the sad thing is I didn't even realize the natural beauty of my hair like that grew naturally out of my head the natural curl pattern I had, the natural, it was just so beautiful. Um, but I never experienced it because I was always covering it up. It was a form of self-hate. Um, and it wasn't until I got to grad school, I was 22 and I met this girl named Jennifer Hinton. I'll never forget her. She had locks. Um, and I didn't want locks at the time. And, and the funny thing is I've always wanted locks. So I would see people with locks and I'd be like, wow, their hair is so beautiful. Like I remember being just enamored with this lady's locks. Uh, I was at church, we were on a on a bus trip. I don't even remember where we were going, but she had these most beautiful like burgundy locks. Uh, I remember being so in love with like Lauren Hill at that time too and her locks. So it's not that I, <clears throat> and I've always had like an affinity for them, but I never thought of myself as getting locks. Like it just never crossed my mind. Um, other than like, oh wow, those are really pretty on them. So basically when I was 22 and I met Jennifer, she asked me, cause at that point I had like this like Rihanna hair, that short bob, y'all remember that? I'll post a picture of that too um, in the comments. And Gabby, turn the water off for me real quick, baby. And so um, she was just like, why do you keep like, what is it that makes you feel like you have to keep wearing the wigs or the weaves or hiding your hair? And so I was just like, I don't know. And she kind of started me. She was like, you should watch some of these videos and do this and do that. I couldn't twist my hair to save my life. Like I just wasn't with the whole like twisting and the curl, like the twist out. I thought it was cute, but it just didn't, it just didn't do right. Like at this point I had like damage from straightening my hair. So it wouldn't really do the twist out the way I wanted it to do it. So I was just like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> so um, I was talking to Bree and this was back in UCLA. No, actually I would move to Oklahoma at this point because I was in Oklahoma when I started my locks. And we were talking about natural hair and she was like, why don't you get sister locks? And I was like, sister locks, what is that? 
And so she told me what Sister Locks was. I'm looking it up. And back then, like, I only paid like $400. You know, now, like, like Sister Locks, child, you, you dropping $1,000, like, off the rip. So it just was something that I was like, you know what? Yeah, let me look into this. Now, I moved to Oklahoma from California. The weather is totally different. When I was in California, I was natural, but I was just pressing my hair. I'll drop the pictures. I'm going to do a timeline in the comments, okay? I'll drop the pictures. So I was just pressing my hair, but again, it was damaged from the heat. Like, the the heat, it had a lot of heat damage. Stop, Gabrielle. So, <laughs> so <clears throat> I could get a press. And shout out to Lee. Woo -woo. I miss you, Lee. Lee did an amazing job pressing my hair and I loved it. In California, I would get my hair done and it would stay for two weeks. Oklahoma, I would get my hair done and it would stay for a day. That humidity was no joke. So I remember going to the, I was at work one day and I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm getting my hair done. This was like Friday uh, after, you know, I'm getting my hair done on Saturday. Come back on Monday. That was like, I thought you was getting your hair done. It just would not stay. Like the humidity, the heat, I was like, yeah. So let's go ahead and revisit this sister lock thing because I can't be spending $70, $80 every two weeks for it to last one day. One day. Like it just was not feasible. I was like, I'm not. I cannot. I will not. I refuse. So I researched sister locks. There was only one person in Oklahoma who was doing them anyway. So researched them, came to her, and I think she was just starting out. And that could be uh, why. You know, I paid $400, uh, but maybe that was the going rate back then. I don't know. This Again, this was 11 years ago. So, researched them, got into them. Um, love, love, love the journey. I started doing, I took the Sister Life class in 2014, and I started doing it. And I fell in love because I was able to walk people down a beautiful journey of self-transformation. Like, I, I would literally have 50-year-old women sit in my chair bawling their eyes out have never ever felt comfortable maybe they worked in corporate maybe they you know just didn't like how their hair looked I don't know what it was but would like ball crying their eyes out to see their hair for the first time like you know like oh my gosh or I've had the other hand of it is I've had people who would be like I can't do this like I look crazy because like that first part of your lock journey y'all Mm, child it's it's hard it's hard because it's the what we call the ugly phase or the adjusting phase adjusting phase sounds so much better than, than the ugly phase but let's be real it's the ugly phase like they just look crazy <laughs> until your hair locks um and so it takes people you got to get through that first year I tell them, like just get through the first year and I promise you you'll be in love with your hair you'll be in love with yourself Gabby stop go in the other room Go now. Y'all, she gonna get a whooping on camera. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, I forgot what I was saying. But anyways, I just remember seeing so many women who will pay $800, $900, whatever. And then a month or two later, they'll, they'll comb their locks out because they just can't handle that that phase, that new new phase. But then the alternative is when you have someone who's confident enough to be like, look, I love myself. I need to do this for me. I need to go through this journey for myself. And I would see women walk like feeling shy, insecure, scared about their hair. And then six months, like, can't tell me nothing. A year later, if you couldn't tell them nothing at six months, at a year, child, it was like, hey, girl, hey. Like, it just, it's beautiful to be able to walk women through that journey. And so that's why I started um, doing locks. And I just fought, I fell in love with being able to to watch that journey um, and help people walk through that journey because it's so liberating. It's so liberating. Since I was 11, I've been a slave to my hair. I've been a slave to self-hate and, you know, hiding my hair under wigs and weaves and braids. And then that's why I ain't got, that's why I shaved my side, y'all. Because I was wearing all that crap and was pulling my edges out. Look, this side <clears throat> uh, is just now, I mean, it's not just now growing in. But, and then I had postpartum um, hair loss with Gabby too. So I just got to a point where I was like, just shave it. Just shave it off because I cannot. I can't. <laughs> so um, locking for me allowed me to just be natural and just let my hair do what it's going to naturally do. So totally grateful for this day. Totally grateful for my lock journey. Totally grateful that I get to walk people through that. 
And if you ever want locks and you're in the Houston area, even if you're not, I will travel. You're going to have to pay, but I will travel. Um, but so please hit me up. I would love to walk you through that journey. And I'm excited. I know this video is probably the longest gratitude video I've ever done. And I probably won't do another video as long as this. But super grateful for this day. So I love y'all. Thank you guys. If you watch to the end, put a heart in the comments. Love y'all. Bye.